Me not fight nothing, nobody. <laughs> but me respect everybody. I'm the Ganana, anybody. 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 Nobody no better than we. Do, 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 Nobody no better than we. Those are the couple of songs that I will listen to. You know, I'm not, I'm not a, Jama- I'm a Jamaican in the spirit. Mm, I, didn't know some, I only know some of the songs. Some of the songs I'm like, mm, like, but that song, listen, what was the first time you heard that song? Oh, it must have been in uni. That was a good summer. I feel like yeah. when that song came out, it was a good summer. Huh. The raves, everybody, nobody, anybody, <laughs> everybody. Do you know what? I love uni raves, you know. You, were, you, were you a uni rave person? Yeah, I went to them, but then by third year. Mm-mm. No, but let, no, but first year raves. First year raves was. Did you go to Barfest? No, I didn't go to Mistake. Barfest. Mistake. Mm. Barfest was amazing. And then you get your t shirt, and then everyone and will customize their t shirt. <laughs> Tell you something, yeah. I was what's that guy Ed Hardy? Like it, I was giving Ed Hardy the you way I was doing cu- customize cu- 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 customizing, yeah, wow. yeah. And then you wear the pussy shorts, the pom pom shorts, pom shorts. You know the one, the three pound one that you get from Primark. Yeah. If, 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 if y'all know, y'all know what I'm talking about. The ones that look like um, Woo! Uh, what do they call it? Netflix and chill shorts. You know the Netflix and chill shots. Shots. Yes, so yes, so. Netflix and chill shot them. But I loved Universe. You know, I remember when I turned eighteen. Um, I was, I was in college. So I, I wasn't in uni because I was born in September. So I was okay. one of the, uh, I was one of the early ones in my mm-hmm. year. And um, I remember I went to Freshers' Week for my 18th because my birthday is in September. Obviously, Freshers' Week we wow. stand up like cool. So I remember that I went to Leicester Freshers' Week, <laughs> and it was me and two of my other girls. So one of my what girls, year was this? This was ah. Oh, how old when I was at? Maybe 2016 or 2017. Oh, I think that might have literally been when I... We could have been at the same rave. We could have been in the either. same raves. We could have been in the same party. Hey, I, just went, this is back I in could have danced with you. To be honest, yeah, we probably did it because this is back in the day when Afrobeats... <laughs> if, if it was to Afrobeats, how no? Because this is when nobody loved Afrobeats. This is when Afrobeats got no love. So when no we in the rave, we standing. Nobody rated Afrobeats. Well, everyone wanted... Bashman! Bashman! I used to hate, I used to hate the, the behaviour in Bashman. But anyways, I'll never forget, yeah. Me and this three of us, yeah... In that one single uni bed, hey. <laughs> for three days, hey. we were all doing a top and top and toe, top and tail, <laughs> as top in, and tail on a single bed, <laughs> as in jigsaw puzzle, jigsaw puzzle. But honestly, those were the best times, though. No, those were the best times. We had the least amount of money, mm. but we had the most amount of fun. Least amount of money, most amount of spirit. That's what, can you see? Listen, we had the heart. We There's had the, the heart. Spirit that, gets that, you was the, through. that was the day was when you used to finesse the coach ticket. Did you know how to do that thing where you where yes. you, where you, you buy a child's you, one you and you change one, it to adult? Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Ah, you Been there, done that. If you know, you know. If, no, if you actually know, you know. You buy the child ticket and then you do some texting thing. And sometimes, yeah. Mm-hmm. Ooh, I was about to. <laughs> sometimes, yeah. The um, person driving the coach, when he's checking the tickets, mm-hmm. if you're a group and one of you have a ticket, he'll just be like, Da-da-da-da. then he'll just generalize all of you with that one ticket. <laughs> yeah. And he'll just be like one, and you'll be like, yeah, yeah, them yeah. two. All right, yeah, all, all of you. Yeah. yeah, got luggage, <laughs> got luggage. Right, yeah, yeah. Hey, those are no, 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 no. Those unit times were good times. But I've got a question for you because I saw something on the internet. I saw something on the TL where um, some girl was asking if you've ever got what's it called? If you've ever got dragged on social media, and if so, what it is? Have you ever been dragged before? I've never been dragged. Yet. Have you ever been dragged? Oh, actually, yeah, I've been dragged. <laughs> but I. Can't. Now you have to say, why were you dragged? <laughs> why were you? What did they drag you for? I don't want to name names because it, it wasn't like... Don't name names. It wasn't the general public. It wasn't the general public? It was a public figure. Okay. Not to be shady. How, trying to drag you? Yeah. Fuck off. <laughs> right? <laughs> Fuck off. Do your own thing. How? What cheeky... And what, what his, his his or her fans or stands are trying to drag you with... With um, him, n- no. Some okay. Some people just had like a logical explanation, saying, "Oh, you know, he just shouldn't have commented." Great, great, cool. And then some people were just like, "Babe, you're not dragging Victor right now. That is not what's happening." Honestly, no. But people will fight for you. Then what? Is Victor ah, cool? Are you crazy? The way people fought Zizi Mills fought for yes! me. Yes, I said. Big up Auntie Zizi, man. What do you mean? Up Mrs. Zizi. Mrs. Zizi, how you mean? Now listen. Oh, we need to Zizi on this. Do you know, I love Zizi Mills. I really do. I met her at um. Stormzy, 
Um, mm. Obviously, after Stormzy, there was like backstage. So I went backstage and um, she was there. And I said, oh my God, I'm Joyce. And she was like, I know who you are. You know that was where in, in real life you're composed, you're like, oh, you're wow, just okay. like, oh, I was like, I was like thank I was you, like, my lady. <laughs> How kind of you to say, JJ, that's so nice. But inside, yeah, I was bugging out. I was like, I'm, I actually, I love ZZ Mills, man. I I'm a huge her. fan. I'm a huge fan of any outspoken black woman mm-hmm. in this UK game. I absolutely love them. But I was dragged one time. <sighs> I've been dragged, actually, no, I've been dragged a couple times, you know, I'm not going to lie. Why? It's always because of something that I said. Yeah. It's always something, what did I say? I said something like, the first one I didn't understand. And it was, oh, because I said men should be providers. I got dragged for that. I said men should be providers and look after their women. And I want someone to provide for me financially. And then obviously, of course, all the brick men came for me. I got dragged one time because I said that somebody's head shape looks like he's broke. Hey, <laughs> I got dragged. That is I got new. Dragged. I have never heard that got, in my life. I said, I said that obviously when somebody has a round head shape, it means they're wealthy. But I was joking. You know me. It's not supposed to make sense. Yeah. Okay. It's yeah. Suppo- fair enough. It's not supposed to make sense. I was joking. Yeah, and some people don't realize that the fact that the joke doesn't make sense is the joke itself. That's the joke they'll itself. Be like, this doesn't even make sense. Then they're there trying to explain what doesn't make sense. Like, people were literally coming into my DMs and really like attacking me. Like, I, I, I've never met such a dumb bitch in your life. And I was like, check your mother. You've never? You've never? Go to your she, mom's room. Got you. <laughs> There's a dumb bitch right there. Yeah. Yeah, she's there. Yeah. She's there. I see yeah. her. Yeah. 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 Bitch. yeah. <laughs> telling you but honestly nah it, it, it wasn't a thing I don't I don't know I feel like the internet is super sensitive these days anyways mm. super super sensitive but that just comes with how society changes it's true mm. that's that's no that's really really true so sensitive like I, I have a TikTok in my drafts like sat there mm-hmm. because it applies to a situation that's like a sad situation yes mm-hmm. you know the situation is tragic that has kind of like happened like maybe like two weeks ago Okay. And I'm just, it's just sat there because I'm just like, ah, I, I cannot you, put this you, You're thing. not quite sure if you want to post it or not because you don't want to offend, you don't want to offend the people. Like, I can't do it. I can't. No, I'm telling you, I'm telling you. I actually read somewhere today, funny enough, like this just happened today that there was this influencer that... Um, got killed by... Got killed, no, I think her... I think she was the influencer. And, and her the, boyfriend, and the boyfriend, she killed him. Killed him. Yeah, killed my friend him. literally sent it to me as I was walking like, here. That, do you know how mad that is? First of all, I ain't never seen this influencer in my life. Like, I ain't never been with a baddie. I ain't never, so I ain't never seen her. I ain't never seen her before. Sorry to this man. Do you know what? Yeah, was she like, I don't, was she an influencer? I, influencer? I don't know. I, I, never, seen I never seen her face. But do you know what? That's really, really sad. R.I.P. That's really, really sad. And somebody said something quite interesting and they were like, oh, um, it's possible like that she's probably going to get bail and get released obviously because she's a woman. Mm. That was the thing. And I actually, and it's actually quite sad because I actually believe that. Yeah. And to be fair, because also she's, you know, yeah, she's she, a, she can just say, oh, he raped me. <laughs> no, do you know what? They, they, they've they put her. He was a bit false. They, they never arrested her, but they put Aye. her in for mental analysis or Good. mental uh Mental uh, processing when mm. they go and check them to yeah. see if they're crazy. But no, she needs to. She needs but to be thrown to jail. You can still do that whilst in prison. So chuck her in. Chuck her in. And then examine. And her. then examine. <laughs> that, that's crazy. Huh. No, that's ab- no, that's absolutely crazy. I, ugh, I don't know. I, I just feel, feel the like warmth. You can feel the warmth in my stomach. In the stomach. <laughs> in my stomach. <laughs> Guys, I want to introduce somebody to this show. First of all. The drinks is drinking. We've got the cocktails, which means that we have someone very serious. The cocktails cocktails is cooking. I want to introduce somebody, an amazing content creator. He is somebody that has hundreds of thousands of people on TikTok. He is a phenomenal content creator, actor, TikToker. There was another word that was in my head. There was another word in my model. Oh, ah! <laughs> oh yeah, that one. <laughs> that one as well. to, that's recently on the new. That's recently on the CV, but yeah, we'll talk about that. One. I want to introduce the very very special. Thank you. And chocolate, because you like now I love my chocolate on this show. You love your chocolate. You know I love my chocolate on the show, and I got a very good cabbage chocolate on this show. <laughs> it is Mr. Victor Kunza. Victor Kunda in the building, guys. Woo! Victor Kunda in the building, guys. Can we say again? Victor Kunda in the building, me. guys. Do you know I'm very gassed that you're here. I'm not gonna lie. Joyce, I love you. I'm very fangirling at the moment. And we've worked together already. (laughs) So literally coming here was just like, I'm going to see my girl. Like, Can I just say, big up BuzzFeed, you know? BuzzFeed are really, really bringing 
everyone. They're really in. bringing everyone together. Mm-hmm. Obviously, if you guys don't know, me and Victor have a show on BuzzFeed uh, where we do dilemmas. It's called Down, down in, in the, the DMs, DMs at BuzzFeed.com. Hey, down, down in the DMs, DMs at BuzzFeed.com. Let them know. Down in the DMs. DMs. Okay, right. So <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we've got that. Why did that remind <laughs> me of Whitney's speech? <laughs> <laughs> Nina, <laughs> Kelly, <laughs> Daddy, Sarah, <laughs> no, 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 yes. but no, that was do you know what? Yeah, that was so fun to film. That was absolutely so, much so fun. fun, guys. You don't even know what me and Vince were. Obviously, I'm never gonna, I'm never gonna, I'm never gonna confess that. To but be honestly, honest, no one knows what goes on half of the time behind the scenes. Do you know what? It's so funny. Your favorites are always drunk. Yeah. That, <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's a fact. <laughs> That's a fact. That's a fact. Knowingly and unknowingly. <laughs> Your favorites are always dry. Knowingly and unknowingly. Nah, that was so sick to film. But how are you? How's your week been? I am good. I am good, good, good. Actually, oh, this week has been a bit of a lazy one. I love that. But it's because I haven't been as busy. I've just been at home watching The Gilded Age. What's The Gilded Age? It's like, oh, it's like Bridgerton, but it's not like about love. Like, obviously love sex and all of that comes mm-hmm. into it mm-hmm. but this one is just more about just that time the and, time yeah you know the classism there's also this one of the main characters is a colored woman so it's like she's a main character but you can also see her going through the perils of being colored at that time wow uh it's a good show let me not even go in because like i genuinely love that show my friend was telling me to go on it for so long i was like no i'm just gonna watch bridgerton ah, i'm just gonna watch bridgerton <laughs> bridgerton finished i said okay what do i have to what do, do i do next s- what do i do next what do i do Gilded next age. do you know what i find it difficult to watch those like um ye olden days movies they're quite only thing though yeah i hate watching olden day movies mm-hmm. like actual old movies from like back in the day because the quality the is quality just is crap awful, yeah i can't do it yeah however this one is obviously modern yeah, so but that's like, what I'm saying. Like don't, that time period. Okay, you don't like period. I don't, uh, yeah, I don't like period dramas. Like oh. I, I, there's only a couple that I would say, yeah, yeah. But all this, uh, Sh- Sandra. Sandra. Could you pass me the cup of tea? It is a please to meet your acquaintance. So, yeah, like, I shall send my footman and we shall go for luncheon. Oh, you're so Whoa, funny. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, Chandra, you're so funny. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm not, I'm not for it. I love that. I'm not for it. I know. I know. I can tell. This is a guild. Is it guild hold? Gilded age. Gilded age. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. No. Uh, do you know what? I might, I I'd might love start to act in one of them of as well. What's that? I'd love to act in one of them. Yeah. When, when are you going to get back to acting? Oh, girl, I don't know. I need to, I need to first get myself an acting agent. But yes. I need, I need like a fab hello. one. Hello. Hello. Did you hear it? Did you hear that? Did you hear it? Victor's looking for acting agent. I think you'd be incredible. Do you but know what? I remember when I first ever watched you, um, and it was the TikTok that you did with the I was cigarettes <laughs> when you did the cigarette thing with the with the breadstick. I was like, this is a performing arts person because obviously I I grew up in performing arts. Yeah. And sometimes you know when you re- real recognize real like we just know each other. We're not I'm new just, to like, this. We're, we're just not new this. to this. Like I said, I know just someone else performing arts. Like, why don't you get back into it? What's stopping you, the agent? Too much on your hands. Yeah, mm-hmm. and also like, like I really don't want to sound like I, I don't know, but basically I don't want to come in on like entry level where like I'm struggling as an extra. No, coming back, no, no. You've proven yourself too much already. I literally not. just straight into the audition. Even even at that, I don't even want to have to audition. I used to hate auditioning, you know. But you know what? Yeah, I feel like the best entrepreneurs, the best um, business people Mm. and the best people in this space, like who are not actors, have an acting background. Because the rejection, yeah, the rejection and acting can kill somebody. It builds character. It builds character. Like I always thought, and that's that's kind of why I kind of stepped out a bit because you literally, you can have your best performance. Yeah. You can read your lines to the up and down, left and right. You can literally do everything and you you know that you've put on your best performance. You yeah. can go into that space and kill it. And I'll be like, no, sorry. Someone else gets your role Someone just because they role. like them more yeah, even though they weren't as the talented. The energy was mm. right with You that know, person. he's just such a lovable character. Like it's so infectious. Don't lie. The interviewer was your uncle. That's why you got the job. Nepotism. Yeah. 
yeah but yeah i couldn't deal with that i could not deal with the yes and no so obviously i'm in a field now where you know i get to work on my own terms mm-hmm. i get to do things and work with people on my own terms you know what i mean period so, but no but but it does build character rejection builds character. character so if you could play anything in this life any role what would it be right now i want to be on top boy season three yes Yes, yeah. yes, yes. Because obviously everyone's just seen me funny, funny, funny. Mm-hmm. But when, and even in Top Boy, you know how Dave played like a, obviously serious but funny. Yeah. I actually want, like I want to play serious, full stop. Just serious. You don't want to, you don't want to be anything Mm-mm. that is associated to Victor Conda. Mm-mm. Why is that though? Well, because I like, I always put on that like road voice in it. Like I can do that road voice yeah, all when the, day. Yeah, when the voice goes bad. All day, every yeah. day. Like if I could speak like this, for like a week straight, I actually would, but obviously man's got shit to do in it. So yeah. <laughs> and then Yeah. That was kinda sexy. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> shit, my pussy went. <laughs> <laughs> but But Yeah. <laughs> you just wanna I just do wanna it. do it. And I'm like, at it. this point I don't know how to do it. Hello Oh, oh hey, top boy or sex education? The, the two of those yeah, are... Yeah, sex education, amazing. I, actually, now I think about it, I think I'd prefer to be on sex education. I think I'd prefer to be on sex education as well. Just, just be like a fun, like... Someone! To yeah. be honest, I feel like one thing I love about you and your skits, you get a different person every single time. You could be whoever the fuck you want to be. I can be whoever the fuck I want to be. Like, and I love wig I got on. Yeah, right? So, and I feel like, like, with stuff like Top Boy, you have basics that nothing surprises you mm. but i feel like with characters in um sex education you have characters that are like oh i wasn't expecting this person yeah. to be on the on the show but yeah i love sex education would you ever have sex on camera I pretend mean, sex if ha- i if i had to but literally the other day i was watching bridgerton mm-hmm. <laughs> and in the sex scene i was like this is intense like bum cheeks out Fuck. Bum cheeks out. You know. I'm just like, how do they cover the dingaling? The cuck. The cuck. <laughs> the cuck. Because. <laughs> do you know? Do you know? I'd be so like, but do you feel like, I've always wondered this because it's like, they say it's not real. Like they say it's not real. But I'm sorry, yeah. If you're, if you're, a, if you're a guy and you are even rubbing your cuck on somebody's thigh, would it not grow up? It will grow now. It will get hard. Even just the rubbing motion. Just the rubbing motion. Just the rubbing. Rub- rise up. <laughs> rise up. Stand up. <laughs> and the crowd stood up. Yeah. It, it would, it would actually I've get always, intense. I've always wondered that. Like, because they're saying, oh, yeah, it's not real sex. But it's like, I'm sure you have a hard on during that whole thing. Yeah. Unless you have a mental capability. You know, some people, they can really, they're like, oh, yeah, if I think yeah. about it. If I think about something, I can I can control my whole body. Or, so, but, or some actors are just like, you know, this is just acting. Yeah. Like, you know, you need to be able to separate yourself from it. Not if some no, I don't I'm I'm very interested because I've never I've never heard any actor talk about it, but I don't know if I could do a sex scene, you know. I'd have to be like I have to, I'd have to do a Zendaya and be fully clothed. You know Zendaya, she doesn't hang her boobies for anybody. They yeah, don't pay true. enough. Yeah. They don't pay enough for that. The <laughs> <fuck>? They don't <laughs> cut the check. Girl, like <laughs> cut the check. How much would you, they said, I'm going to give you X amount and I want you to show your cock on the television. Oh, like my cock. Yeah, sex scene, but you have to show your cock. No. You'll never do it. No. Not for no, everyone has a price. I always say everyone has a price, babe. To show my. <laughs> Ooh. One million. One million on the table. One million? I'd do it for What's... less. <laughs> the hell? One million. <laughs> At least he honest. You've gone in with one million. They said, okay, no, don't worry. When I'd, I'd, I'd actually do it for 500K. 500K? Yeah. 500K, we wanted Maybe to do it. But 100K. it's not a sleazy, it's not a sleazy sex scene. It's, it's like a, you know, the romantic one. Uh, the one that they are falling in love and it's their first time. You and know they're what just mean? like. Yeah, it's just like, are you sure you want to do this? <laughs> <laughs> My heart bleeds for you. Yes. I love you. I love you. I've been waiting for this moment for so long, Johnny. To live in the contours of your love is to live like society in black and white, but you bring the colour to my heart and to my life. Lady Joyce. 
and then he gets his cock out and then seen <laughs> literally cock out seeing how much cock would you um because but for you okay you kind of have two yeah have, there's two parts to for the my price. breast this hanging breast one million <laughs> this hanging breast that you this like hanging, to show us anyway like a, no, no, sure, you I actually don't, don't you know i, I could like, you dress very modest do you think i do you think so do you know what you're right? Do you know you what do. it is? You dress yeah? quite modest. Do you know what it is? Yeah, it's not that I dress modestly, but I think because I'm so thick, anyways. Like even when I wear, if I wear this, you gonna see the shape. Yeah, girl. you gonna go see the shape. I might cover them up, but you, you gonna, gonna see, see the shape. You gonna see that cup size. You gonna see that cup. Hmm. We gonna see that cup. <laughs> do you know? What I mean? Oh, but you know, I'm more of a booty person, anyway. So okay. it's like, as long as the ass looks fat. Mm-hmm. Then I'm cool. Like, and that's all that matters. That's all that matters. Like it's about me. I'm all about the 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 shape. Shape. Even me, I'm in the gym doing leg day. We're still waiting for the chest workout. We're still waiting for that chest workout, Victor. And I'm not happy. Do you know I love this? It's when the top wrinkles where yeah. You you're the type of guy that made me love muscle fit. Because I mean, back in the day, muscle fit wasn't a thing. So what really? the guys used to be doing is that they used to oh, wear yeah. two sizes down. Yeah. Remember? Mm. They used to I wear was one of them, yeah. Yes, I know. So now it's now muscle fit. So yeah, you've got the bicep and the tricep and the pectorials coming out. All of it out. But I always see you in the gym. You you inspire me. You got the crack of dawn in as well. Fucking hour. Crack of d- at okay. the bum you, crack you of and dawn. You okay, Wumi goes like ridiculously early. She goes like, at like six in the arm, like six, she, like as in <laughs> cool. I'll be in there maybe like seven, eight, nine. Wumi will be in there six, maybe. Sometimes even five. Sometimes she's f- sometimes she's full workout hip thrusting at six a.m. in the morning. Like I'm still trying to catch that Z's. I'm <laughs> girl, still, I'm, I'm still, still frying co- my ex. <laughs> like, like, like I'm still leaving the club. Like six a.m. Like are you me, mean? Though. Huh? Got to love women. What me? What? You know that's a me. Not gonna lie, yet I started her. She, you know, she started the morning routine. Mm-hmm. Um, she's done, and I'm and I'm actually joined the Not at the time she wakes really? up, though. No, not okay, yeah. Me, but the morning. Routine. I'm gonna do your routine on my time. Yeah, I'm gonna do the morning <laughs> routine at twelve. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. I feel like I've achieved something today. No, but it's been breakfast amazing. Breakfast at two. Yeah, that's yeah. Me. That's me. That's me. Literally, sorry, sorry. That's that's become me. Sadly, oh, that's become no. me. But I, yeah, that's what I mean. That's why I joined the morning routine so I could try and get things go. But honestly, I wake up maybe around. Let me not lie. Uh, 9, 30, 10. Yeah. Then I will do the journaling that she's been doing, and then she goes for a walk or the gym. I've been trying to walk, and <laughs> I've been trying to go to the gym. But I'm not quite there. It's, we're still on day four. Do you prefer to go late or early? Do you know what? Yeah, I wish I was the morning babe routine mm. girl. I really, I really want to be that it girl. I really want to be a it girl when I wake up in the morning with my smoothie. Then I will go for my jag and my matching, you know, no big t-shirts. Here, we got the matching gym, gym clothes. Gym, yeah. gym shark. Gym shark. Yeah, the matching stuff. And then Period. I go home. Then I meditate and I do all my feng shui. Yeah. And then I do my journaling and I do my prayers. And then I'm ready for the day. Ready for the day. That I wish I was that girl, but I honestly. I would have gone to sleep after doing all of that. No, that, seriously. That, that's a day that's in itself. A, that's a day in itself. Like, I wish I wish I was one of those girls, but I'm, I'm just that. <laughs> but I love your gym. You need, what's the chest workout? You need to tell us. Uh, what do I do for chest? So I do the incline and decline bench press. I do ooh, the pectoral fly. I do, you know, in the gym. <laughs> sometimes it's really like, sometimes like I have an idea of like a workout to do mm-hmm. in my head. It's it's not even anything I've seen before. I'm just like, okay, maybe if I do it this way, it would it really hurt. work. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Maybe I if I do it, it this way, it'll hurt. <laughs> Sometimes I just be doing random exercises and I'm thinking, okay, are the people around me just looking at me like, what is that, the fuck is, is this nigga doing? <laughs> is he normal? <laughs> are you normal? <laughs> I just be remixing any sort of movement, but I'm, oh, I hadn't done a leg day in so long. I love me a good leg day. I love a leg day. I love a leg day. Just to get the, what is it, the, the, the ties and the, the bum. The ties. Everything is just tight. And the bum. And you the know, bum. I, I want like a shelf. Yeah. You know about the shit, the booty bounce. You know when it goes pa pa. Like like I want to look like I play football, but I don't. Obviously I don't. love. I funny enough, I, when I was filming, I saw I, I saw a, I, I was filming with a group of guys, and I had to tell them. I said, you know your bum is big. Sometimes just, I was quite taken aback. And it's like you you know your bum is big. You know, stop swinging it at me. <laughs> stop swinging stop it at me. Stop throwing that shit around. 
Double, double check. Double check. <laughs> <laughs> On a Wednesday On afternoon. A Wednesday. Oh. No, but his mom was bouncing. I was, I was not even mad at it. But before we move on, I just want to say a quick shout out to Kurt's Cocktails on the Mix. Hey. You already know the vibe, Kurt's Cocktails on the Cocktails. I want to say a big shout out to her. Um, use my discount code, Madam Joyce, for discounts on the drinks. And also she does cocktail delivery, hosted cocktail parties, event catering, and special occasion packaging. Listen, this one, I've been sipping this one. This one this is pina, pina colada. Pina colada? This one is too good. Do you know what? I've been, I can see you all is finishing. Mm. I already told you, I, I guzzled down drinking? my drinks. Like, you're so lucky these three are even here right yeah. now. <laughs> you sucking that down. I love it. Mm, 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 mm. Is this edible? I love it. Of course, it's, it's a real pineapple. Mm. It's a real pineapple. Yes, darling, it's it. It's good for... It's got, pineapple. It's, it's got a hem sign inside. It's good. Mm. It's good for the body. But I want to play a game with you. Obviously, okay. we have a game called Win or Bin. Oh so, gosh, basically... So before I came, I was watching and listening to you. <laughs> Don't, I, some, I fall asleep listening to you. Listening to me? Yeah. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. <laughs> you fall asleep listening to me? Like, it's that because I like to hear, like, a soothing voice that I like. And then I just turn it down, like, slightly so it's not disturbing my brother, but I can still hear Soothed? it. Why are you laughing? Haven't I seen have my laugh? This still soothes me, my baby. Don't worry. If you want me to soothe you, just tell me to come over. I will sleep next to you. I will, <laughs> I will, I will sing for you, baby. <laughs> Sleepover. <laughs> I'll do a sleepover for you, darling. So ca- I can soothe you. <laughs> yeah. And like, there, there was the game you were playing with Moses. You played it with Shia. And we're about to play with you, baby. Period. Don't worry. Today, we're just warmed up, guys. We're just warmed up. We got win or bin. So I'm going to give you some topic of conversations. Mm-hmm. And you're going to tell me whether it's a win or a bin. Are you ready? Mm-hmm. The pineapple's good, isn't it? Yeah. So we got win or bin. First one. Funny enough, going to the gym. Win? Why win? Wait, hold on. Sorry. Explain. So, topic. Topic. I say win or bin. Yeah. And I explain why I like it and why I don't. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. Going to the gym. Yes. You're for it? Yes. You have to go to the gym. Honestly, it for me, it's not even... Okay, yeah, well, it is about, like, aesthetics, mainly. <laughs> I, I can't you even... Look like, <laughs> I just want to look hot. Um, but it's it's so good for you, even beyond, like, your body, like, your mental health. Yeah. Just your organisation and your motivation, because that's why I go in the morning, because it gets me up, it wakes me up. Pumps the blood. And then when I get home, I'm like, cool, what's next? Because I've already done the hardest thing of the day, which mm-hmm. is lifting, t- t- trying to bench 50 kg, which I can barely <laughs> even do. I can only do three. Ah, And then, it, yeah, it just motivates you, gets your mental health going because you get into this habit of, well, for me, obviously, because I go in the morning, but even if you go at night, into this habit of just actually pushing yourself. Pushing yourself, absolutely. And then if I can lift this, then surely I can do this task on my computer that I need to do. Do you know what I mean? Absolutely. And I read somewhere, funnily, this week, people were talking about exercise is a good... It reduces the risk of Alzheimer's dementia by 30%. Wow. Yeah. So, Alzheimer. if you know that your mom has got dementia, you can reduce it by going to the gym. <laughs> you can reduce it by going... But honestly, I'm... You know what? You're not going to lie yet. I, so in January, January 2022, mm-hmm. I made... If anyone follows me on Instagram, I made this huge thing on Instagram and I was like, guys, I'm starting my fitness journey 2022. I'm so excited. You guys, I want you to keep me accountable. I'm going to track the journey on my life. That was the last time I went. (laughs) On my life, that was the last time I went. And you know what? Literally, it's always every time like you know you kind of try to bring other people in on your journey i don't know that somebody in the somebody in i don't know who watches me whether it's in south africa <laughs> or Germany, they said in <laughs> jesus name she would not go to that gym again somebody was praying for my downfall you know what yeah this time around it worked in it in the long run i'm the winner but in this short term you yeah. had a short term win you had a short term win, right win long term is still her you're watching it's on the, your screen so and that's what, but honestly, I want to go. I really want to pick up the, mm. the motivation to go to the gym. Um, I don't know what. Honestly, just baby steps. Mm. Just start like go. It doesn't have to be for hours. How long did you go to the gym for? Maybe like an hour and a half to two hours. Can you see somebody that's not normal? <laughs> 
Someone does not know more. Why don't you sleep there? <laughs> Let's go sleep for two hours. If I had the chance, I could. You're going for two, for two hours of the day, bruv. Mm-hmm. That's okay. Do you know what two hours is? Two hours is this whole episode. <laughs> wow. That's this episode. Yeah, pumping, 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 pumping. pumping. Running, running, running. Now, what? See, okay. I said, you know what? Yeah, there was a time in my life where I was going gym for very, very long periods of time. Mm. But then life started laughing, you get me? Yeah, you started to enjoy life, innit? Like, like, that's how I think it's pumping up, growing, my arms is growing, my boobs is growing, but so is my ass. <laughs> and that's all that we want at the end of the day. But so is my belly, to be honest, I'm a cheek. It's a shelf. Huh? <laughs> You're back, you going back to the Listen, shelf. Listen, don't even start on the cheeks because. No, just, my, like, obviously, not, these, not these cheeks, not, not the cheeks I want to grow. These, these, cheeks. these cheeks. Because obviously, as part of like weight gain, you have to eat a lot, innit? Mm-hmm. So obviously, where I'm trying to eat a lot more, it's obviously my my muscles are growing, mm-hmm. but my cheeks are also growing. <laughs> my sister, I FaceTime her. She said, "Why does your face look fat, sister? Way to lower the self esteem. <laughs> Way to lower the self esteem." I was at one of my friend's houses. I was just you know just conversating with her. She was just staring at me in this odd way. And she just goes, you put on weight on your face. Wow. Why don't you give me that to slap? Why don't they just slap you? Just spit on me. <laughs> Tell me to kneel down and just wee on my life. You're already treating me like a trash. So, yeah, this week I've just been thinking, do I really need this as much as I <laughs> do? Do I really need to gain be hench? Or a slim face? <laughs> do I really need to be hench? But I don't feel like your face is big. Like, you still, look at, look at, bend this. See the cheekbone. God, look, 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 look the camera. See the fucking cheekbones. Tell them to stop being haters, man. <laughs> Tell them to stop being haters. Cheekbone is still there. Can you see the jawline? The jawline is still sharp. Ah, my jawline is really not like. There's, your jawline is jawing. Your jawline is jarring, babe. Stop telling, stop, stop making them tell you that. You look great. You look, you look good. <laughs> you look good. <laughs> Thank you, my dear. All right, let's move on to the next win or bin. Win or bin high school dramas. So, Euphoria, Glee, Sex Education. Win. Talk to me. Even though some of them may be showing the lifestyle, just just the the, the everyday mm-hmm. in an abstract way. Abstract. That shit is happening. Mm-hmm. True. And our parents, even though when they walk in on us watching it and they're like, why, 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 what is this nonsense? If our parents sat down and watched it, mm-hmm. maybe they would have an insight into what we go through in school. In school, yeah. And when we come home and they're like, how was school? And we're just like, fine. And we walk straight to our room. Maybe they'll look a bit deeper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's true. It's very true. Funny enough, I remember in my adult years, obviously High School Musical was a thing for me. I mm. loved High School Musical growing up. And obviously- Do you know what, yeah? When everyone watched High School Musical, I did not. I watched High School Musical in like the coming years. Because bitch, I, I, like me and my family, we was broke, girl. So... I didn't have Disney Channel. All well, I literally had was CBBC, CITV, basically all of the channels that came. CBC, CITV, there was another one. Pop. pop tiny Pop. Yeah, and tiny, tiny Pop. pop. <laughs> you, know, pop. you know the vibe. Pop Girl. Pop Girl, yeah. Yeah, so you know literally vibe. when I was clued up on like all those like illegal websites, that's where I watched That's a Raven. That's where I watched Wizards of Waverly Place. That's where I watched um, Good Luck Charlie. That's where I watched the high school musicals. Mm-hmm. And yeah. Girl. Mm. Honestly, like it's a story. It's a journey. Do you know what? I'm I'm here for you. I love that. But I'm glad I'm glad that I'm glad that you watched it either way. Yeah. <laughs> Cause high school musical high school musical was why I decided to 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 do acting, why I wanted to be a really? performer. Yeah, what? Why I wanted to be a performer? High school musical, I could t- I could do all the dance. Everybody all for one. The real summer has just, just begun. begun. Let's rock and roll. Let's just let go to the rhythm of the jump. We're gonna have fun in the sun. Not are you dumb? Listen, they should quiz me on high school musical so I can tell them that I'm experts. Oh wait, I should have formed a high school musical quiz. 
What for me? Yes. I would have won. <laughs> I would have won. What do you mean? For high school musical dramas, I appreciate them because they really do highlight the conversation that I've been had. So mm. I remember when I first watched Sex Education and I was like, obviously these people are like 17, 18, 19 and they're talking about sex so overtly but then talk, thinking about how I was at school. I lost my virginity at 15. What the fuck was I talking about? Wow. What was I talking about? I'm sorry, not me like, wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow, you little dirty slime. <laughs> Damn, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> yes, I confess. So, but obviously, at those times, yeah, those were the conversations that were being had. We were talking about sex. We were talking about drugs. We mm. were doing like at that tender, tender age. It, it was happening. It was happening. Those that didn't experience that were the ones that had the curfew at five o'clock. Yep. Straight after straight after school. No chicken and chips allowed. Do you know what I mean? But for us that had a little bit of free leeway, we really had, we really lead weight. Listen, when I told you, I had freedom. Yeah, me too. We really lead the weight. I remember bumping train when I was 16 years old mm-hmm. to go to London. I used to live in Bedford. Oh. I live in Bedford. So from Bedford, Thames Link, Thames to Link. Bridge. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> I used yes. to go. Yes, yes. Thames <laughs> Link. <laughs> That's my shit. Right. I used to have a good time bumping train from Bedford to go to a party with my sister's expired passports. Yes. You know those. Um, you see them now when, like, obviously because we like pay for our travel now. You'll see those well sometimes. You'll see, you'll see those um those people with so much confidence. They will just walk up to the barrier, Ding. push through. I'm just like Girl That used to be me. That used to be me. So much confidence. Just just pushing. Just my enter through. through. I just enter through the And you will just hear the Beep! And you're there, you're thinking, like you're just like Do you know I'm gonna just tap this. I'm gonna just tap this and let's leave. go. <laughs> 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 That's the thing. When you were younger, you were a lot more the bravery, like the bravery. Like I was when I was younger, I was so brave. Mm. Like now, I would, the stuff that I would do free really in the now would be shaking, shaking, shaking to do. I remember one time I tried to steal from the shop. Yeah, let's yeah. not even get onto this. Topic. <laughs> Before I expose myself to all these people. I remember, yeah. I thought I was a bad girl. I was a bad girl in other place. And I went inside the corner shop, yeah. And I thought I, w- I was so bad. I didn't even try to conceal. I remember I, I tried to take a big um, packet of um, Pringles. The tall one. The one with size. That's how, that's how brave I was. I tried to take Pringles with length. That one has length and girth. And where they'll be like, extra 50% free. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Long, de- yeah, the big thing. Like, hey. I remember I tried to take it and walk out. So I took it and I walked out so confidently. I'm walking out, walking out, walking out. I'm doing my Victor Kunda. My Victor Kunda run. Like the jogging. You know the, the, the jogging where you got nowhere to go? The confident the jog. The confident yeah. jog. That's not the jog you get. Well, that's oh, not the jog that you take good. when you're going to run over. That's not the that's not the that's not the jog you take when you run over. That's the jog when you take when you when you when you call. Mm. So, anyways, I'm 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 now walking out the shop, and one guy now grabs me. He now grabs me. One Asian brother, boss man, has now grabbed me. And I was like, "What the fuck are you doing?" I'm trying to fight off boss man. So I'm now like just swinging, swinging, swinging. You know, boss man bangs me in the face. <laughs> he said, "What are you doing?" <laughs> ha! He gave me one boss. Bossa. He gave me one like a blunt, like a big man blunt. I go. And then my head knocks back. I'm thinking, God. Damn, I, bitch. Stay up. <laughs> you, know, you, know you know the punch that you wake I woke up. I woke up. That's when I knew I wasn't invincible. So, yeah, he took his sprinkles and ran away. And since then, I've changed. Wow. <laughs> that one changed my life. Uh, in now uni, I'm a, uh, Now I'm a bad girl part time. In uni, I was. Mm, I, Alleged- don't, I don't even want to. <laughs> Allegedly. Okay, take a third person. So, who are we talking about here? In uni, Charles was like a master shoplifter. Yep. And obviously, because uh, uni times are hard. We've suffered, yeah. We suffer. We've suffered, yeah. And we have to take matters into our own hands. Yeah. That's exactly what Charles did. Yeah. Big up, Charles. Charles was a master shoplifter, but Charles got caught one day mm-hmm. in TK Maxx. Oh my God. I got caught in TK Maxx. <laughs> You've been caught in TK Maxx. <laughs> Ah. No, no. So Charles, what did Charles do? Charles was in TK Maxx. Charles had like obviously been shoplifting from TK Maxx for a long while now. T- it, Max, was, Max. it was almost almost muscle memory. 
Charles had gone this one day. Charles just had like an off feeling, but he was still just like, mm. ain't never stopped me. He was packing, packing, packing. Nice set of Nike. Nice Adidas set. <sighs> As he was going down the escalator, he heard an announcement. Uh, just random numbers. Uh, uh, we have a five, four, three, two, one, zero. <laughs> As he's walking to the exit now, in a triangular formation, three workers just come. Hi, yeah, yeah. Could you open up that bag, please? So- sorry. Sorry. Could you open up that bag, please, and show us the things in the bag? You know, the things you didn't pay for. Hmm. Hmm. Charles opened up the bag. They took the things and they just said, right, so you have two options right now. We can either call the police or you could just leave through those doors right there. The automatic doors right there. I said, I can see the door. You don't have to highlight that it opens by itself. (laughs) Thank you. (laughs) And that was that. They banned me. They said they banned you for life. No, for like a year. Oh, my days. But even when these places say they ban you, it just means don't come for like a couple of months. And then come back, you're all right. They won't remember you. If you grow your hair around, if you grow the beard, if you grow two inches, you'll be all right. Mm. So, TK mm. Max. So, there's the girl called Janila. Mm. So, Janila was also an avid shoplifter. Mm-hmm. So, Janila used to go to school. She used to have this one bag this black bag that was the shoplifting bag mm. because it, had, it was very sturdy. Study it, it had was a very space. study bag. It had mm. space. You can pack things in there. So Janila had already done a run. She done River Island. She done next. What next? She done next River Island, and she was coming to TK Max because TK Max yeah, because it's it's double entry. So TK Max exit is the way home. So she's going to TK Max, and I said, ah. she said, sorry, mis- mistake. She said, oh, there's this top. Let me just pick this top. Obviously. When you become a shoplifter, you just take anything, you know. So she takes the 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 t-shirts and she's ready to go. She said, I've had a successful day. I've taken everything, pants, everything, t-shirts, everything. So she's walking out, walking out, walking out, walking out. She's even walked out. She's even walked out on the on the main road. She's at the crossing. She's waiting for the, the traffic to stop. She just feels the hand. Uh, excuse me. Oh, she's turned around. She sees this big white guy. Oh my goodness! She's now thinking, huh? She's now trying to fight him off. She's now trying to fight him off. Try to fight him off. The guy's saying, "You're not going anywhere." He's now doing the the big man grip. So he's now taken her. He's now dragged her to the back. Back into TK Maxx. So she's now got. She's such. She's escaped. She's now back into TK Maxx. Uh. She's now been sent to the back. The guy says, open your bag. She's opened her bag. He's seen the Highland. He's seen next. He's seen everywhere. She said, ah, this is my first time, oh. I've not, <laughs> do- I've not even done this in my life. It was just the spur of the moment. He said, but you look like you know what you're, you've, you've done all these places. You look like you really know what you're doing. I said, no, it's not possible. I would be like, it's because I'm black. (laughs) Because I'm black. So she was doing all the bravado. She was doing big girl, big girl for them. Obviously, at this time, she was under 18. Mm. So they said, because you're under 18, we have to call the police. We have to call the police to come and get you. If you see the way she started crying, she started, Ah! Hey! Ah! Please, oh! Please, please, please don't call the police because I have to come and call her mom. They have to call my mom. Please, please, please. She was crying, crying, that crying, 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 crying shouting. The pussy creek like, shh, shh, everyone can hear you in the shop. I said, I don't care. Let them hear me. <laughs> Let everybody hear me. <laughs> Help. Hey. Hey. Please don't call the police. I was crying, 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 crying. Anyway, shall they called the police? <laughs> they took me to the <laughs> to the police station, oh, and my mom had to come and pick me up. Oh my goodness! 
My mum had to come hey. and get me from the police station. That was the last time I ever saw yeah. anything. Bro. That one was at least they just they just let Charles go. They said me, I'm not going anywhere. They said me, I'm not going anywhere. Literally one of the worst experiences of my life. Don't go anywhere. Huh? Don't go anywhere. Don't Listen. go anywhere. Huh? They caught me like a rat. On the highway. <laughs> On the highway. Hmm. Too bad, too bad. But we are going to move on to the next window. So we're saying winter to high school drama. I don't know where the hell we go, how we ended up on a tangent there. Shoplifting. It really went. It really went from left to right. Not me shoplifting. Don't Janila and Charles. They're Jan- very stu- yeah. they're stupid children. Stupid, stupid children. people. Very stupid people. You think you can do something like that? They're idiots. Hmm. Idiot. But final one. Win or bin social media friendships. Win. Win. Yeah, man. Why? Because if you if you're just like not a fool, okay, let me not say that. <laughs> because at the end of the day, you don't you don't really know people's true intentions. But mm-hmm. me, I'm not a fool. Have me, you been in instances where people have been friends with you because of who you are? And have you have you sussed them out? Do you think you could suss that when people are genuine to you as a person, or they want you because you are the Victor Kunda? Um. Ah, drop that the. I don't. I just wanted to be dramatic. It's for dramatic effect, um, guys. <laughs> sometimes I can tell because it's almost like oh, I don't know. Oh, this is nice. You are right. This is nice. Mm-hmm. It's good because sometimes you can just tell from what you know how quickly they want to like meet up or go out. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? Because it's usually when they're out there, they can be like here with my bestie, but. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Apart from that, if I I like to have like genuine conversation first. Like, let me know what your opinions are. Let me know how, what your outlook is on certain situations. But trust me, like, win for social media friendships because you need some people in the field as yep. well. Yeah. But then also at the same time, you realize, cool, we're both in this field, but you are a flipping dope person. Like, generally, yeah. Yeah. Literally, like, my two closest friends from social media are Nife. Oh, who you've actually love, had on. Love, love, And Yeboa. Love Yeboa. I've not yeah. met him, but I love him. Love them to, to bits. Like, yeah, like, it's just love. It's like, it's, it's almost like, you feel like you didn't meet them through social media, but mm-hmm. then you just remember one day, oh, yeah, like, I actually haven't known you for that long. Yeah. But, like like everyone says, it's sometimes it's not about the time that you've known someone, but what they have done for you in the short space of time that you've known them. And how they make you feel as well. Mm-hmm. How they make you feel. I love that. I feel like I've met some phenomenal people from social media. Obviously, I feel like generally my experiences with friends have taught me just to decipher people generally. Yeah, me too. So I'm a very, very like, I'm somebody that I can, when I see people, I just know their intentions and I know if they're a genuine person or not. Mm. Um, but I've had the pleasure. A lot of people have stories about, you know, social media, they've met people, they, that there's some people that I know, they might have clout groups or they might have like some people, they're, they're friends because maybe they are uh, aesthetically, they fit together aesthetically or because they have a certain amount of following collectively. But I've just had the pleasure of meeting some sick people. I'd, I've not had met one person that I could say is my friend that has come on this show that has been like, do you know what? I didn't have that good experience with them. I didn't like them. Like mm. God has just brought so many phenomenal people yeah. to me. So I'm I'm honored. I say that's a win. And again, take away so, the social media friendships. They're just people. We're just all having, we're just trying to navigate this space yeah. and have an experience. But honestly, I swear to you, every single person that I've met so far, because I know there's going to be a dickhead. Dickhead is still pending. But so far, every single person I've Surprised met. Surprised you haven't met one yet. I haven't met one. Or if hey. I did, I was too busy laughing at myself. You know, sometimes you know, you know, when you are the funny person. Yeah. Sometimes you are more you are more laughing at yourself than them actually being funny. But that's the, that's good. That's good because yeah, it means you're just so in tune with yourself. It's like what I just said was funny as hell. I'm still here busted up. I'm not even noticing. Yeah, that, that he's a he's a cock. <laughs> Do you yeah. know what I mean? Or she's a cock. Do you know what I mean? Like so. But so far, I've had I've had an amazing experience. So yeah, I would say also win to social media, media friends. friendships yeah i'm here for it i'm here yes. for it okay we are gonna move on to a very 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 serious segment hey this is probably the most serious segment and honestly we have had amazing people on this quiz 
They've done amazing. Some have done amazing. Some have done bad. And we are going to add you to the leaderboard list. So we have a segment in it, which we ask our co-hosts cultural questions. Yeah. And we are calling this the culture questionnaire. This is... I wish I had Moses as one. Are you smart? Moses that got one. You think Moses is smart? Moses. Moses is, Moses is in the last, the last on the leaderboard. Hello, editor. If we have a leaderboard, bring it to us so they can see. Moses is at bring the bottom. Back. Moses at the bottom. I'm happy for you you don't get at the bottom. Are you smart, Victor? Yes. You're smart. You're the first person I think I've ever had. Yes, I'm smart. If you don't believe in yourself, who will? Do you know what? I feel that. I'm here for that. So, we've got 10 questions. You only get one answer. Don't tell me Bobby, Susie, Johnny, Adam. You only get one answer. Nina, Kelly, Bobby, <laughs> <laughs> Babe, you don't get Bobby, Susie, Kelly, okay, Adam. Okay. You get one answer. The first answer we're going to take as the as your answer. Oh, Are you ready? I don't have a chance to change. You don't, No changing. No changing. Let's go. You ready? Let's do this. Oh. Okay, question number one. Name the 1995 movie starring Will Smith and Martin Lawrence who played buddy cops. Three, Men, men in Black. Two, one, incorrect. It is Bad Boys. Oh. What was the very first Marvel Cinematic movie? An extra point if you know what order it comes in. Three, two, one. Oh, this, is, this is a sad thing that this is happening to me right now. Incorrect. We've got no answer. The answer is Iron Man. Oh. Question number three. Which female singer did British did British dance crew Diversity beat for first place in season three of Britain's Got Talent? Susan Boyle. Correct. Which fast food chain has the famous slogan "Eat Fresh"? It's fresh. Yes. Eat fresh. Three, two, one. Incorrect. We've got no answer. It is Subway. Who still eats Subway? Me? Really? I love Subway. Question number four. What was Pixar's first movie? Toy Story. Correct. Which UK rapper's real name is Dennis Junior Junior or Doom Wall? Heady one. Incorrect. It is Tion Wayne. Oh fucking hell. Question number five. Including the recruits around, how many games were there in the Squid Game? I, I'm just not gonna get that right. Incorrect. It is seven rounds. So, next question. Put the following Kardashian Jenners in order of age, oldest to youngest. Is this including Rob? Yes. And I was, I'm, I'm allowed to say the names actually. So you've got Chloe, Kylie, Rob, Courtney, Kendall, Kim, and Chris. Oh. So Chris, obviously, because she's the mum. Then we have Courtney. Then we have Kim. Then we have Chloe. Then we have Rob. Then we have Kendall. Then we have Kylie. Correct! <laughs> Big up you! <laughs> <laughs> that is absolutely correct. We've got Chris 64, Courtney 41, Kim 39, Chloe 35, Rob 33, Kendall 24, and Kylie 22. Kylie's 22? Yes. No, she's not. This is not right. She's my age. She's 24. This is not right. Wow, okay. 
producer, there's a mistake. Producer, there's a mistake. <laughs> at least he got the right order. But it's the right order. Finish the lyrics. Cutie the bomb met her at beauty salon. No clue. With a baby Lewis Vuitton under her underarm, she said, I could tell you right, I could tell by your rhyme. All oh, girls, you got to flop. I could tell by your charm and your arm, but I'm looking for the one. Have you seen her? My psychic told me she had an ass like Sharina, Trina, Gina for Lopez, four kids, and I got to take all their bad ass to show biz. Kanye West, go digger. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, as of March, this is a multiple choice question. As of March 2022, how many episodes of The Simpsons are there in Don't. total? Let's just not even. Why couldn't I get this, you know, the like other questions? <laughs> A, when was the last time I fucking watched Simpsons? A 230, B 587, and C 722. Um, C. If I'm being honest, I don't. I, I, do you know what I'm gonna do? My producer at this point is not doing very well because I don't, the, it doesn't say the answer. So I'm just gonna have to give you that one by collateral because I don't know the answer. Have so I got three. You've got four. Wow. <laughs> Wait, is that the end? That is the end oh. of the. <laughs> give me another. Are chance. you smart section? I got. Four. Victor got four out of ten, which is not. Pits of Hell Moses. You're not you're not you're not at the pits with Moses, but you're not at the top with Koi. But you are. What did Koi get? She got eight. Yeah, but her questions were probably like Yeah, they were easier. Yeah, they were. Yeah. They were. But these were easy questions. You should have no, got at least weren't. seven. Yes, they were. You should have got How seven. many episodes of The Simpsons were there? No, come on, the beginning. Will Smith, how can you not know what bad boys are? I You don't know bad boys. You don't know you don't know what the first Marvel movie is. Come on, like brav. Brav. Yeah, just a silly belief. I'm sorry. Yeah, just silly. Anyways, at the end of that round, Victor got four out of ten. So we will see him somewhere on this leaderboard on somewhere. This leaderboard. Anyways, guys, thank you so much. That was Ooh, Are You this Smart? Is a yeah, nice I saw margarita. this. Here. It's hot in it. I literally had a taste of that. I was like, oh, it's giving me a kick, baby. Mm. Look at the look at the, look at the way the pony talk. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, we are going to move on to hot topics of the week. Obviously, it has been a chaotic week, and of course, we are going to start with some really, really sad news. Actually, bittersweet news. And uh, we have June Brown, EastEnders Dot Cotton, dies at ninety-five, and she is known for playing the chain-smoking Christian and Wolfer stalwart since nineteen eighty-five. So obviously, we've got. Do you watch? Do you watch EastEnders? Yeah, I used to. Back in back in the day when before the, I think there was a particular writer that passed away. I um, feel I feel so bad because obviously they've just announced she's dead. Mm-hmm. But guys, I genuinely thought this woman had been dead. <laughs> I'm 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 just gonna say it. Genuinely, when they announced, I said, "Wait, didn't they say she died like maybe a year or two ago?" She is she ninety five is a like I find it weird. Not gonna lie. I'm, I find it weird. Obviously, maybe because I haven't had grandparents that I've known that have passed away. Mm. When people are like, oh, it's so sad that she died. Sis was 95. She had a good run. She had a real good run. Honestly, so devastating to be saying bye. 95, and she's an avid smoker. She, pwah, pwah, ah. pwah. Cigarette, cigarette, cigarette. What? 95? Even, even I've lived to 95. You're lucky, babe. You're lucky with, I want, cig- I want tobacco. You are blowing, blowing, blowing tobacco all your life. All hmm. your, all your, she was smoking since she was quite young. No, yeah, she must have been. Yeah, since she was quite young. And you, you've you've managed to survive to 95. Nine. 95. Pick up you, bruv. What? Maybe because she acts and she has to be talking all the time. That's helped her respiratory. Respiratory dialogue. Dialogue. Maybe the uh, the voice training. Hmm. Say, breathing breathing technique. That breathe one helped in, her lungs. Breathe yeah. out. No, she did amazing. In. Bring Honestly, she, I think she was. She, they, they said that she's been part of um, Eastern since 1985. Please don't ask me to do Damn. the maths because you people know I'm not good. But she's been there for a long time. 1980. That's a long. Extenders has been going on since 19. 19- I believe it's like 1960s. Very, <laughs> very long time. 
very very long time and there are shows out here that they're only giving us one season and then just and then just locking it off fucking idiots like it's been so it's been for those that are like international eastenders is like um uh was a US soap opera because they call it out there. What do they call it in the US? Soap operas. Yeah, yeah, soap opera. Yeah, absolutely amazing. Like it's been like I remember watching EastEnders like from young. Like it used to be a thing where, like it used to be a family show. Yeah. So when it was, was it? Did it start at what seven o'clock, seven thirty? Yeah. Like seven, and then seven thirty on a Wednesday. Christmas episode. This is my little brother. Yeah, he's 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 not normal. So he likes to beatbox in it. Like he he thought he was a beatbox. I don't know what he thought he was going to be doing. Don't tell me he used up. to beatbox with the theme song. I'm telling you, he used to do. Imagine, do no 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 no. You do the East Enders. You do the East Enders. Do the do the do the figure. Doom doom. Doom 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 I always talk about my little brother on the show, but that boy is not normal. That little boy is not normal. But yeah, Easter does that. When when he used to come up, yeah, we used to be in our So he's like, Easter does. It was like the it, that and X Factor, yeah, in my household, yeah, was the family thing. Like, I wish we had more families. Like, no, do we ever spend time with our families anymore? God damn. No, we're just saying. We don't watch TV anymore with our families, man. Because obviously, the only reason why we used to watch TV because there was only one TV in the house. In the house. Now we people have TV in their room. In their rooms. Their, their mobile. Their laptop. Their lappy. But yeah, honestly, it was uh, it was quite sad to hear. But I was happy for her because she having that long winded career. And just being that old, amazing time to pass away. Bruv, you know, sometimes, fam, this going to get to a certain part in my life, yeah. I said to God, if I get past 100, I'm going to be fuming. Like, fam, lock it off, bruv. I want to go. What do you mean? I'm At sure there's point, some I'll, old I'll people. I'll probably just down the bottle of rain a few. <laughs> and that will get me gone. You don't need to down the whole bottle. You need to, you, it, uh, four shots will kill you, fam. That shit. Four shots will take your ass out. I just don't understand Ray and Nephew. I don't understand. I've been trying to tell this to people. That drink is poison. Why, why do you shot Ray and Nephew? Like, genuinely, why are you putting that shit yourself is through poison. that? poison. Did I tell you, ever tell you the story? I don't know if I've ever mentioned this story when here, guys. When you were drunk with Ray and Nephew. I mean, that, no. I've only been drunk of Ray and Nephew's once on my birthday, and I didn't even know it was raised. I said I want rum. I, I even went to a white people club. And they went and gave me They were gave me fucking Ray's nephew, bruv. They had to go get me ethanol, bruv. They gave me petrol, fam. That shit's petrol. And I went to... Anyways, there was a story that woman was saying that literally she um she poured Ray Nephew's on her leather couch and she said the next morning it was bleached. That it had like a, it had like a bleach mark on it. I said, can you see what people are doing to their bodies? Listen, if you want to go... If you if you're old and you want to go, just just shut four. They would t- that thing will shut you down quickly, bruv. What? That will shut you down. But I've got a game for you though. In the morning, the sofa had discolored. Bleached. Discolored. Discolored. And that's why you sort of flow through your livers. Good. That's why all of you are disheveled. That shit. Huh? I knew there was a reason I just. It's like that, that shit. shit. Is fucked. I was Fuck like, that shit. How- I don't like that shit. <laughs> <laughs> How could two shots of something get you drunk? Like you not, hey. are you not taking this in, bruv? Two shots, but I've got a game for you though. Obviously, to commemorate the death of Dot June Cotton. Brown, um, Dot Cotton, aka Dot Cotton. I was thinking I would love to do something fun with Victor. No one has ever done this before. This is the first ever time, and probably the only time we're going to do this. Um, I have a game. I have a very cool game. Period. So, we will be improvising and we have to act out of the scenes that we were given in these scenarios. Let's go. And we are going to be calling it CNT Standards. Wow. Shout out to my producer, she's cool. Wow. CNT Standards. I've not seen the scenarios. We've got one minute. (laughs) We've got one minute. We've got one minute mm-hmm. um, to act out. So, we've got four scenarios. So, we've got four scenarios each. One minute to, to act them out. Okay. So, I'm nervous because I ain't never seen, I ain't seen these. Hold on. Is it alarm? Do I use alarm or stopwatch or timer? Timer, one minute. Time okay. Word. So, scenario one. We've got Richie and Bianca. 
Richie has just found out Bianca has been sleeping with his best friend. But what Bianca doesn't know is that Richie has also been sleeping with her, her best, best friend. friend. In this scene, Richie reveals all. Which character would you like to take? Richie. Okay, I'll be Bianca then. Who would like to open scene? You. Okay. Ready? Mm-hmm. Three, two, run. I've told you a thousand times, Richie. I'm so sorry. No, you ain't sorry. Because that never stopped you, did it? It was just a spur of the moment. We were in the pub and it just, just everything just happened in, the, in a row, Richie. I'm so sorry. So what about the next time? And what about the time after that? And the time after that? Look at me, Richie. Look at me. I love you. You know I wouldn't do that on purpose, Richie. We've been going through so much drama, Richie. I'm Don't so sorry. Don't you dare. Don't you dare try to sit here and tell you you love me. Tell me you love me. Richie, I love you, dear. I love you. Well, you know what? I don't love you. How could you say such a thing, Richie? How could I say such a thing? Because I've been sleeping with Tracy. <gasps> you what? I've You've been, been sleeping with who? Tracy. I don't believe you. Richie, stop playing games with me right now. I'm not playing no games with you. You can be all as upset as you want, but you've been doing the same thing I've been... (laughs) (laughs) Okay, let's move on to scenario number two. Two. So we've got Tracy and Stacey. Two Essex girlies getting ready for a night out and try to get through the enormous minor incident that happened the night before. Eyelashes won't stick, dress is too small, Uber keeps cancelling, drank too much, proper chaos. Are you ready? Let's go. (laughs) You start. Okay. Three, two, one. No, babe, literally everything's just falling apart right now. Don't worry, babe. Like, honestly, we're supposed to be having a good night out, all right? Have a bit of that margarita, darling. No, I've had too much already. I can't do it. I'm here trying to book the Uber to get us to the club, but no one's answering me. I can't babe, do it. Babe, stop ruining the night. Listen, you're going to ruin your makeup, babe, darling. No, it's already fucking ruined, babe. My eyelash is falling off. Don't I can't worry, do babe. it. I've got some glue to help you out. Come on, babe. We've got Luke. We've got Craig no, David in the not background. Well, we don't use the same glue. You're poor. You buy the black eye glue from the hair shop. I use Charlotte Tilbury glue. All right, but your Charlotte Tilbury glue is bending off, babe. So what we're talking about is... I just... Right you're there and help me. Just, I'm just trying to help you, babe. You're all trying to insult me, right, babe. Right, don't come for me. Don't fucking come for me. Are you one of those angry drunk people? Because honestly, I've got no time for this right I'm now, I'm not even darling. that drunk right now. Yes, you are. Look at the way you're slurring. Your nostrils are just flaring, darling. No, babe. Don't come for me like that. Because I will pour water on your head. Do you know what? (laughs) 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 Not you, not you, the angry drunk. Not you, the angry drunk. Okay, next scenario. Are you ready? Drunk are you? I'm a lit drunk. I'm a yeah, bounce breasty drunk. Let's get crunk. I'm a lit and horny drunk. I'm a yes. I'm a I'm on the floor. I'm my stallion knees. You know my stallion knees. I'll bring your stallion (laughs) knees out. (laughs) I'll try to, anyways. Girl. Scenario number three. Bill and Phil. Ooh, Two right. geezers are having a pint and both fed up of everything. Their work, their wives, the immigrants. <laughs> Aye. The two voice their anger in this next skit. You ready? Mm-hmm. <sighs> right, let me let me open my legs. All right, three. Who's starting? You. Okay. Do you know what? Cool. I'm fucking fed up right now. I'll fucking tell you hell, that, mate. mate. I'm, I'm fucking I am, fed up, mate. I'll tell, tell you, you what, yeah. I am fucking through with I, just everything going on right now, mate. Mate, I'll tell you what, yeah. I'm this close, right? Listen, I'm this fucking close to losing my head, and I'll Honestly, tell you that, right? Mate, I, I, if I could beat the shit out of Lisa, I fucking would. But I love her, so I'm not going to do that. The other day, how could she complain to me about leaving my plates in the sink? What f- Why the fuck did I marry you? What a fucking tart, isn't she? Fucking married you for a fucking reason. You washed them fucking plates, babe. 
What a fucking Wash it, time. fucking plate, babe. You know what I'm fucking fed up of? That manager, like that fucking manager that I've got, Waeed, didn't it? I don't know. You see some people, right? You see that. that What's Asian his name? Why Eid? Why Eid? Why fucking Eid? Why fucking right. Eid? I'm fucking fed up with that guy. You, see you know that? why I hate him? Why do you hate him? Because I know he's come over here and stole our jobs. Fucking stole our jobs. All, only friendly to all his fucking. I said I'm a maker mate. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm a Laker. <laughs> Listen, big up Bill. <laughs> big up Bill. Big up Bill. <laughs> big up Bill and Phil. I think that was the last scenario, you know. Was there three? I thought there was four. I thought that was four too. Oh, guys, no, there's only three. Guys, we hope you enjoyed Sorry. that one. And again, another rest in peace to Mrs. Dot June com. Brown. Phenomenal, phenomenal man. <laughs> May you always live on, my bro. One love. May your red pixie cut always live on. One love. One, One love. One love to the rascal. clap. One love to the bomba clap, pussy clap, fire clap, them clap, every clap, pussy clap. <laughs> One <laughs> love to Albert Square. One love to Albert Square, all of that. <laughs> Topics of the week, baby. Ooh. Right, guys, we are going to move on to the next hot topic of the week. Obviously, we have um, crept uh, from Crept Conan and Sasha that was in the news this week after Sasha discussed split, splitting her daughter's nursery fees. So, okay, if you don't know what I said, look at off key. Wow, my English is really English. In off key, off key. <laughs> if you guys don't know what I am talking about. Um, there was a situation in which um, Sasha, who is the baby mother of um, Kreps, Krept, was basically saying how they split nursery fees between the two of them. And somebody said, how could you split your nursery fees? Your baby father is a millionaire. And to which she responded, you know, us being a parent, it should be 50-50. The point people were trying to make was that he earns a considerably amount more money than her so why is it that the most ex obviously for a child the most expensive fee is the nursery fee so why does he not cover that and i wanted to know your opinion about it like sometimes in this life like even e even me like i you know i don't have a fucking child yet mm -hmm. but e even if it comes to like splitting anything even with my friends i know the position i'm in mm -hmm. The most expensive thing, obviously, I'm going to cover it because that's just going to make it easier for all of us. Crept mm -hmm. is a fucking millionaire. Mm -hmm. And Sasha, come on. Okay, we understand you're trying to be like, oh, regardless of the money, day, yeah. regardless of the money, you know, I can still pay up. But let's be realistic do you here. Know what I can, do you know what I understood? You see you? Yeah. God will bless you. Shake my hand. God will bless you. Yes, man. You see what I realized there? Anyone could come for me at this point because I'm in a bumba club. I'm going to give a bumba all. I'm going to care. You see Caribbean people, they have a different way of living. You, that's what I'm saying. Sorry. They're come, different. Beat me. Beat me. This is That's why I just, I'm looking at Sasha. Sasha is, I believe she's half Caribbean, half our English. Caribbean is our Jamaican. The way they deal with their family structure is different because there's no bumba pussy clats way. Them not no way that a Nigerian man. No way, no way. There's no way. There's no way that a Nigerian man will have the shoulder to to split his nursery fees. You get it? Like, so I think a lot of people were speaking from their tra own traditional values. Yeah. And I see Caribbean people. They're very much like that, which is why sometimes they say that, that Caribbean women they are easier. They don't a Nigerian fight man would even be offended that they you're saying I will split it with you. I what? What kind of nonsense is that? Are you trying to say I can't provide for my daughter? Yo, the thing Why is, was yeah. that Indian? Daughter? <laughs> daughter? <laughs> <laughs> I, don't know what, I don't know who that was, but I like them. <laughs> but honestly, I've come from a background in which men have shame. You get it? They got shame. Mm. And it's not a thing where we're not asking about... If It would be a different story if she was asking for maybe an allowance for herself and her child. But this is this fee is solely for the benefit of the child, for the growth and the well-being. Why could you not cover that bill? And then obviously, again, uh, advancing to this conversation, there was a, there was a uh, 
Twitter spaces in which oh, crept, yeah, yeah, I saw that jump this morning. on there and he was coming on a and the thing is he came on a very humility a humble thing he was like yeah but I provide for my children in other ways I've created opportunities in which my baby mother can provide for herself and I've basically put her on and created um, income for her Okay, then why don't you pay? My, my, we still haven't answered as to why you're not paying the nursery fees. Yeah, because she's still not a millionaire. Because she's still not. She, you still make more money than her, and you are the father of the child. Why can't you pay the nursery fees? Why can't you pay all this? I just was hearing because I, I sat and watched the spaces. There was a, you know, when somebody is doing speak sports pack. A yeah. lot of a lot of grammars. Everybody was doing English. Yes, I understand everybody's frustration. Your point is quite Your poignant point is quite, in guess, this argument, but. Mm. All the speak spoke spack. Why? Why ain't you pay the, the the fees? If you're yeah, if I I fend for my family, I look after everyone. I love everybody's good. <sighs> everybody's good. But you ain't pay the fees. So what's good? You ain't pay the fees. Don't what's up? The speak spot. We're doing a lot of speaking, speaking, smoking, spacking, and I love I love crypt as an artist. Obviously, I love. Uh, I don't really know Sasha, but big up her of what she's doing. Again, being able to create a, uh, a space where you can afford to look after your child to the highest standard mm. and for. But regardless of if she could afford it or not, I'm speaking from a place of my tradition. And a man, when it comes to her child, would never split the bill. It's your fucking child. Do you know yeah. what I'm saying? It's your baby. It's your baby. But again, that's an idea that I want Jamaican. They do things differently. They do think differently. But what but do you think? But to be honest, with this new generation of like the diaspora, we might, you know, you might see that a lot more. A lot of people, are, and a, a lot of people are making a click because, you know, I really hate this. One thing I hate, one thing I hate is that um, guys have equated our right for equality to be lazy in in in, oh, in our dating and relationships okay, yeah. like in terms of you know obviously we we were fighting for equality and we, the the equality we were fighting for is to do with you know equality in, in payments and work equality in you know how we get dealt with and in, in terms of uh, sexual sexual conduct different things like that yeah they have taken the relationship structure and have based our fight for equality and said well oh y'all 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 say you're equal to us, in this So you mm. good with that, right? You good with that? That's not what we're talking about. That's not what we're talking about, babe. Do you know what I mean? Us, and oh, especially yeah. in in the level in, in in this sort of instance where somebody's making more money than the other, that's not equality. Equality does not equate to equity. Mm, wow. That's where I'm coming equality from. Equality does not relate. Equi it's okay don't let the drink catch you baby come back come back baby don't let the drink catch you <laughs> equality does not equate to equity what 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 thank you you don't know i went to school briefly <laughs> for a sec for us i was there i was i attended for a little piece still but yeah that's that's what i'm all i'm saying um in terms of 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 that so if you was in this situation you wouldn't let her pay See, I like you. You see, we need more men like Victor. Because is 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 paying her half of that going to dent his account remotely? No, and she could provide another way. Is that like, there's a, there's a, there's a lot. There may be cheaper things that now because he's paid that half, she can now she can, say, yeah. okay, I'll pay for the whole. I'll pay for the baby all of food, that. the pampers, whatever. Like I could pay for the other stuff. I, obviously, I don't know their dynamic in terms of who has the the child more on A, B, C, and D. Mm. But it's um, when we're, we're not saying that hundred percent all the fees should go for to the man. That's not what we're saying. Oh God, no. But I mean, this is the ma the, the major fee, hundred percent, hundred percent. Yeah. So yeah, we are going to move on to the next hot topic. We've got the Grammys. So obviously, this was a phenomenal week for the Grammys. Um, the Grammys took place this week, and we had a lot of wins and sadly a lot of losses. So we had um, this was the one that a lot of people were talking about. This this uh, group called Soja, who won the best reggae album at the Grammys, uh, beating the likes of Sean Paul and Spice. And um, obviously there's been some controversy online because they were all right group with no members from Jamaica. And um, hey! 
Hey, Summer give it to. Summer give it to. Not a single member from Jamaica. Not a single member from Jamaica, no. Even when they, even when they, um, they took the award, they're like, we just want to thank all the Rastafari jazz. Like it was just they were very American white people. They weren't like obviously white yardy who was grown up in Jamaica. They weren't they weren't grown up from them places there. They're very we just want to thank all the cultural roots that inspired us. Um one love. You know what? Even though we could side eye that, one, it's good that they even said that because two they could just steal the whole reggae culture and be rolling as some white boys the same way um Oh, what's their name? The one that just the group that Justin Timberlake was in. Oh yeah, In Sync. In Sync. Obviously, um, was it? It wasn't Boys to Men that they came off the back of. Yeah, I yeah, can't remember. Boy, but boy groups like Boys to Men, Jagged Edge, all mm, that stuff. Yeah, all mm, the people there. Yeah, they didn't thank them. Yeah. They didn't thank them. At least these people went up and said, "You know, what? we're just going to thank all of the Jamaicans. We know that's not a culture, but you still." You're the ones inspired that, yeah. us and that that's the reason why they won not sorry not that's not the reason why they won but they won best reggae album because they are white people creating reggae music and that is just so like the music that was is bad. so profound the, uh. music, the music was not right re- the music was not reggae music. i can and, imagine it's not and i heard it obviously me i'm, I'm one of those people i want to do research i want to know what 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 is what is winning and i just was like what kind of silly thing is this i've never heard these people beforehand obviously and again beating people who are actually within the culture is have active. you heard of skip marley skip marley someone's son Bob Marley's Bob son, son yeah. his music is so good. Yes, yes, yes. I need to hear his stuff. Oh! I, need to hear his I was stuff. listening to him on the way here. I need to hear his stuff. But yes, we've got um, Doja Cat and Scissor won Best Pop Duo group performance for their viral hit. Then you kiss me, boy. We say, but we got your little lose. Oh, 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 not the harmony. <laughs> Okay. Get, Performing get, arts. I know. <laughs> I know. I see you, girl. <laughs> yes, day one. I was very, very happy. And of course, Silk Sonic, um, Leave the Door Open, won Best Record. And Bruno Mars has won two Grammys that night and hasn't lost a Grammy since his first nomination in 2004. He's won a Grammy every... Every single time. Yeah, every time he's nominated, he's won. <coughs> and he's got 14 Grammys. Wow. 14 I mean, mother- deservedly so. Yeah, he's a very good artist. Very good artist. I love he's his transition. He's high on coke, but... I love his transition, maybe more than Coke, but allegedly, allegedly, he <laughs> don't remember them too when they accepted that when they were like, <laughs> trust me, I love the little thing they they plan for that. They and the some packs hair. What were you doing? They plan for that. Trust me, the the the, the, the wig that wasn't his hair. That like seventies bowl. That wasn't his hair. I love if the anyone, hairstyle. It, I love the hairstyle, but that was not his hair. But you know what? Neither is this. So <laughs> who wants to speak? Neither is this. This ain't man. Let me shut my. But I'm still whipping. <laughs> I'm still whipping like his man. The fuck. I'm still looking like it's mine. Shake, bitch. You say? I'm going to take it off and I'm going to put it right back on. I ain't finna do that, but... <laughs> no. Not but here. Guess, guess who didn't want win? Which really, really... Whiskid did not win for his nomination. Um, did I think get, it was, like, international, African... Yeah, interna- international... International... Um, best international artist. Who won international? Um, I believe it's, it was Angelique. Angelique G... Angelique Kijo. She's Spanish. She's Nigerian. Obviously, she is Nigerian, but it was like I've never heard of her. Neither of us. She's I want big mommy and big daddies. You know, I want big mommies and big daddies. You but know. To they, be honest, people have been criticizing the academy for a while now, and I'm here to criticize them again. Me too. Why did you not give our brother Whiskey? You didn't give our our brother Wizkid, dude. That was a phenomenal album. Yeah, because being a devil's advocate, I want to say, okay, it was just you know, it was a great album for us in the UK, but global essence. Did I need the da da body? Did I ding the da 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 Are you what? Da did. Did I ding the final bombing? Come on, uh, yeah. You Only be the thing that I find lead. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, my me, but my money. What? What? You don't think them bone down by it. What? You don't know that song. Ah, that's a good song. You are dumb. That's a good song. <laughs> that is a good song. Make a mean to burn off our mean. <laughs> Ah! Oh, 
Do you know but seriously yeah Essence was that so globally Globally Justin Bieber jumped on the track like ones and twos I pray for this moment Yeah I know the rest yeah, of the yeah, yeah That I will be by your side I <laughs> Yeah <laughs> the remix you know this this was a good fucking album like whiskey's album was heavy there was you know sometimes that there are some albums that have that one tune that saves them there was at least five, five. songs on the whiskey album that was beautiful blessed well written self-preservation self-elevation needs can be self best elevation yes and the great christ but the best time back to the book book where's gonna make me what did she? Mean? I don't know the song. I don't know the lyrics, but that was. I, I never I, really do. I never know. Same. All I knew is that Bad Man was feeling blessed. Still, that was a good album. I was very Man sad. Bad Man stress. But the thing is, people were comparing it to the Burner Boy album twice as tall that he won the Grammys for. Um, Whiskey's album is better than that. Thank you. Whiskey's album was better than that. I believe that maybe Burner Boy found a formula of how to win the Grammys because I don't know what P Diddy was doing. Why did P. Diddy uh, produce that album? I will never know. Maybe if Whiskey... That's probably why he won the Grammy. Yeah, exactly. Maybe you need to have an Af- uh, someone with uh, some sort of uh, American, European credibility. Uh, yeah. Because I couldn't understand how Twice as Tall won, but Whiskey's album didn't win. It blew my fucking mind. I was very yeah. upset. And I listened to the song that Angelique sung. I, I don't want to be rude because that's how I hunty. You know, she's my mommy's age. I can't be wow. rude to her. That one is our big mommy. Angelique. She's you don't know her. She's not her, she's she's her auntie. She's her big mommy. Oh. D- she's her big mommy. She we can't, we can't be rude to her. We can't be rude to her. But I'm just saying for us, the culture, the, the not only it's not even like for the culture. Whiz kids thing is not the culture. Mm. The numbers were there. Essence was massive. Essence was massive. He sold out the old two here. Like I just couldn't fathom he, as to why he couldn't win. He also gave Thames her whole career off of that one. You so. can imagine, really elevated her career. Obviously, Thames was doing her thing before, which I'll give it up, but really elevated her career as an artist. She's now working with American artists. Like, bruv, give my brother a yog his fucking album. Give him his fucking Grammy. Fuck. I was very hurt. I was very, very happy. Yeah, that's the Grammys. Did you have anyone in mind that you thought dressed really, really well? Did you, I mean, any outfits that you thought... Oh, Doja Cat looked fine. Doja huh? Cat. Do you know what? Yeah, I feel like Doja Cat... If I ever met Doja Cat, we'd be the best of friends. If I met Doja Cat, I just... I, I Doja Cat we'd be the best of friends 100% I know we'd go for we'd go for dinner that evening at our pay because even though the food would be 500 I'd still use my rent money to go and pay it pay it yeah, because you are Doja Cat because you're the fucking Doja Cat I love, I love Doja Cat she's a Libra sis like me what's your star sign? Cancer you cancer I can't believe that did you think I was a Leo? I thought you were an air sign like me I mean f- f- it's okay Bears. I'll just pretend that you're. But my friends say I'm a cancer 2.0 because I'm like not all that emotional. You're just. Not but normal. I am behind closed doors. You're just not normal. You're just not normal. But yeah, I love Dodger Cat. You know, she's a Libra like me. So I she's love a her to crazy. bits. I listen to her every day. She's crazy like me, and I think we'd be the best of friends. Honestly, I I love her. I love her. I love her. But okay, guys, that was Hot Topics of the Week. We are going to move on to a new segment. I've got bad new segments this week. Ooh. Obviously, you are going to debut them for us, is it? Debuted. Obviously, this one is basically, I want to take some of the most... <laughs> not the Nick Minaj growl. Not the uh, Nick Minaj growl. Pull up in the... Pull up in the... What? Pull up in the... What? Uh. <laughs> I love Nick. Mickey Manage. <laughs> but yeah, we are going to move on to the next segment. Obviously, we have... Wow, I am tips. Yes, I could tell by how you were growling at the camera. It's okay. I forgive you. Thank you. Guys, if you're not listening to audio, you won't be able to see the facial expression that, that Victor's making. <laughs> but it's okay. It's okay. Just imagine it. It's not normal. But yes, for the final time... We have a new segment on this show in which we highlight some of the craziest, weirdest things that we have seen this week. I was thinking of a name to call it. 
and um i want to call it silly billy wow yeah so when i was younger my mom used to say yeah silly billy wow so i want to give the silly billy award to certain people this week oh please so there are a lot of silly billies in this world that do silly things that are very stupid stupid very stupid things very silly silly being it's a very silly stuff very silly stupid they're not bastard. normal so this week i want to give the silly billy award to, to a lady called cara clark oh who was hospitalized because she refused so far around her boyfriend of two years and got her appendix removed because you didn't are you dumb silly billy clara uh, clara clara you're silly billy you are you are a bastard even <laughs> because you've been with someone for two years you're two acting years. very comfortable around them and you can't even fart. you're holding in your farts how bad is a fart compared to not being able to pay your rent <laughs> let's let, let's put them in a, in a spectrum but I've heard this. Do you know what? Yeah, the reason why I chose this is because this is not the first time I've I heard know, this. I know, I know. Guys, what's going on? Some people won't take their wig off. Some people won't even... Some people won't eat properly as they should. They will do classy knife and fuck. When, when, when in your house, you're using your hands. When in your house, you're using your hands. You will be using knife and fork to be cutting class... Trying to do classy babe for your man of two years. I can't believe it. Why are you acting? Like, it's crazy. How comfortable are you with your partner? Who me? Yeah. Oh, hey! If you if you if you have one, I don't even know if you're single. You're not single. It's complicated. But if you if you have if you're if you're in a in a in a relationship with your bae entanglement entanglement with your bae. Let's just this <laughs> I, this is theoretics. How are you? Like it's 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 to the comfortable to the point where how comfortable are you isn't even a question because it's just like that is just standard. Mm-hmm. So that you're not expecting. So you can fart around your bay. You can if they can smell your poo. Yeah. So if you open the door, they can smell your poo. Yeah. You block the toilets. <laughs> I'm very if comfortable. The, if the shower and the toilet are in the same room, you can shower. I can poo. Yeah. Sorry. If they do that, they're not normal. Because who's trying to smell? You know when you know when the shower is hot, the poo smell increases because okay, the I, particles of the poo increases. I have techniques to have like an odorless poo. Do share. Sorry. Do share. I, as literally as soon as that thing is dropping out, you should be flushing. So it's li- like there's no time for it to <laughs> there's no time for it to sit. <laughs> there's no time. There's no time for it to sit and marinate for the particles to now come into the air. It's literally <laughs> all the way <laughs> into the pipes. Into the pipes. Bro! Do you know what? I've had a lot of techniques before. This one is new one. I do you know what? Yeah, do you know what I never realized? Yeah, do you know what I thought was it was like one of those epiphany moments that you have when you're drunk I'm or something. Finished. You empty. Do you know, big up Curse Cocktails. Me, I've still got my last one. You know, uh, Victor's a Hoover. He just finished everything. Don't worry, we're good for one drink. Don't worry, baby. Please. But I found this thing. Why was that? You know when you poo, for example? We go to the toilet and then you spray the air. Why do you spray? Spray the sauce. You have to spray the sauce of the smell. Spray the toilet, Spray bro. the toilet, bro. Start never, there and, and then was, do the air. Bruv, it was like, you know, bruv, it was like starting clicks. It was like, why am I spraying the air? When the source of the odor, odor is coming from the toilet, fam, my life changed. So now when I spray, you would just, especially if you have that uh, odor uh, deodorizer. What is it called? Uh, uh, odor eliminator. Whatever. Odor eliminating. You just, you just, you just spray in the toilet. Pia, 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 pia. Spray in the toilet. That thing gone. Like that blood can you just smell, bruv? Now smell the thing. Now bother no more. The t- <laughs> I bad if you smell that thing no more. Mm-mm. The thing, the smell gone. The smell gonna leave or no? But yeah, I'm giving silly Billy of the week to, to Cara. Cara, Cara to, yeah. What's her name? 
Clara Kak. And Clara even Kak. like that, these these were farts. Yeah, for, how it wasn't you even like it was a poo. They're probably just, the same thing because when, sometimes when you fart, why, why are you poo. trying to be not a normal human for someone who is also a normal and human? Too, the boyfriend is a bastard. He probably farts as well. He's probably. He's probably burping and farting and everything. You know, guys. <laughs> sorry, 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 Clara. Spitting on the floor like a dog. All that stuff, you know, and they'll be fat. She'll be like, oh my God, I love him. You know what I mean? And but you're you, there you not are trying your to fart. Holding your heart fart for all of... You know, yeah, when Please I was at school, out, yeah, I, I, I can't hold my farts in because I... I will probably be one of these people that have my appendix or whatever the fuck removed. Because when I was at I school, yeah, mine. I can't hold it. If I hold my fart in, I get this bellyache. Very bad bellyache. Because the bubbles have gone back up Everything, on this. Everything, yeah, too the, much. The, it's too much in the belly. When I'll be sitting there, I will have proper cramps. Proper, severe cramps, like pregnancy cramps. I remember oh when gosh. I was in school, I used to hold my fart. Because obviously in the classroom, you don't want to be like, Ugh. and you know what? Sometimes people think that farting is uh, is anonymous. No, we know where the, sen- we, we know where the stench is coming from. In school, you will know where the stench is coming from. Coming from, from a bum bum. It's coming from somebody. You will know the person. So I used to hold in my farts, but then I used to get a very bad belly ache, and I didn't realize that it was because of my farts. And so wow. one day I had a severe belly ache. I said, "Miss, I need to go home." Then I went to the toilet. I just did point, point, point. You fired it all out. Everything I, I, I love that felt though. Like I, knew, I just felt like a new human being. I said, "Stand up!" I said, "Everything just get up." <laughs> everything was i just rose up i was like wow i'm a human being now i'm a normal person that happens to me i have a bellyache then i just fart the pain out and it's just like it's like the pain just oh instance like you're just cool the pain just disappears you just feel like a new human being but yeah clara kak you get silly billy of the oh. day you get silly yeah silly billy but yeah we are going to move on that was hot topics of the week and of course if you guys want to get involved with hot topics of the week make sure that you follow us on twitter c and t podcast follow us on instagram cocktails and takeaways and of course subscribe to our channel and you can be a part of the gang Ew. and the tiktok oh and the madam tiktok joyce. madam joyce sorry i always forget that fuck <laughs> i always forget that one <laughs> yeah follow <found> that too <laughs> <laughs> Question of the week. Okay, guys, let's move on to question of the week. Obviously, we asked the bad boys and the bad girls a question and a poll on our Instagram. They give us their knowledge and their insights on the opinion. So are you ready for question of the week? Mm -hmm. Question of the week. You find the envelope on the train with £10,000 inside. However, I'm I'm going back home. However, written on the envelope is rent money. What do you do? A, keep it. B, hand it in. Don't stress yourself. Why? <laughs> no, Victor's deliberating with his conscience. He's so cute. Oh, my, God. my inner Charles. I'm finished. This thing got strength in it. Fat nice cats cocktails, though. bruv. It's fucking nice. Cats cocktails. I'm supposed to be filming after this. My goodness, it's okay. Oh my god. I'm I am taking it. You're taking it? Simply because <laughs> you find it on the train. Mm-hmm. This person is not going to go to every single police station on every stop of the train. Mm-hmm. They're just going to say it was 10K, it's gone. If anyone has found it, it's gone because most likely they would take it themselves. I'm taking the money. You're taking the money? Yeah, and I'm, pl- I'm, I'm, about it. I'm hiding it in the grass in my back garden. You're hiding it in the grass, you're not even going to spend it? Or maybe I'll go literally pay cash down for a car straight away. So you already know how you're going to spend the money? Yeah. Deposit Victor said he's going to spend the money. House. You're gonna spend the money in deposit. I mean, realistically, for housing, we're not in London. Leeds, you get a deposit for housing. Leeds with 10k. Leeds. No, you will lead. Um, Bognor Regis, Scotland. So far, <laughs> so far. <laughs> not in this London. Not Bognor Regis. <laughs> <laughs> you won't get in this London. <laughs> not in this London. I went to Butlins, Bognor Regis. So actually. did I. <laughs> that's why. Like that's how we know it, isn't it? That's how we know it. That's how we know it. I remember just thinking, where the hell? Where, where am I, girl? What about the, the you know the sand the sands in the UK they're not the sands like you get in Barbados they're like rocks they're like rocks and the sea the water's brown really yeah what do you mean really have you been to Barbados no 
mm-hmm. but the ones that sit on in you know, the television yeah they wouldn't dare to try and lie to people and say that our sands are fucking yellow sands with blues with blue seas don't you dare anyways i want to share with you what the bad boys and bad girls said 47 percent. i'm quite disappointed in this i must say because i trust you people had more morale Mm-mm. 47 percent said they will keep the money yeah and 53 percent said they will hand it in it was a very split and split with 413 of you saying you will hand it in and 368 of you naughty people we said that you will keep it because you've now handed in that 10k the person has probably not come to get it after a certain amount of days the police station has the right to do what they want with it either give it to a charity shop give it into the government so that 10k has just gone even at that the police officers have split it between themselves trust me everyone sh- cool down quiet and yet even at that they haven't all split it just the ones that were probably there when they saw the 10k should we, uh, should we split it like 3.3 each uh cool edit. I was in that. <laughs> dad what did these just track into their trousers dad bro dad <laughs> all bad days i'm just gonna read what some people said king b said half of you lots are liars niggas is keeping that money and then we have Mr. Tega Alexander. It's now my rent money. God put it in there for me to find. Tega! Yes! Stop telling. Stop using God. God working. Remember when I was messaging you and I said God working in his mysterious ways? That is God working in his mysterious ways. So in so skin smart said, either way, I'm turning in it. I'm turning it in Joyce. My mama is a Sunday school teacher and there's karma. I feel that there is karma. There is karma. That's why some of your mans is cheating on you. It's not because of them. It's because you did something naughty Man two years cheated, ago. But you're also 10k rich, huh? <laughs> your man has cheated, but you now have 10,000 pounds. Let's 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 weigh it up. It's let's weigh it up. Let's weigh it up. Vike Wild Lang said, because hand it into who? How does it get to its rightful owner? Anyways, that's why I put the train because you can hand it into the train officer. You can hand it into the, you can hand it to somebody. No matter where you are on the ladder, there's corruption everywhere. You, you decided to be sensible. You gave it to someone who's higher than you, but isn't sensible. They've kept it for themselves. Where do we go from here? Because they have to write the report to say we had just found 10,000 pounds. I won't write that shit. Fuck that shit. I won't write that shit. Fuck that shit. I won't write that shit. I will keep that 10K. You'll keep it? Yes, sir. MTL agrees with you. MTL proves that if you cared about your rent money, you wouldn't have left it on the train. You silly Billy. And you know what, yeah? As much as that 10K could buy me something nice, like a designer, this thing, designer, this thing, I would actually put that down and I would say, here is 10K for my rent for the next however many months. You yourself, you don't rent have... is fucking expensive. Rent is, is quite... Rent is quite... Who is even paying rent in cash? Criminals. Criminals. Yeah, then that was open an investigation. Criminals. Emma Flick said don't need rent paid that much if you lost the money maybe don't. they were having a bad day you don't yeah, need yeah, the yeah. No, you must not need the money i if found you, 20 pounds on the floor the other do you day, know what she... how much have you ever found on the floor <sighs> one time in my church in also with my boy joe joe i don't know if you're watching this but <laughs> cool we the, the church was in like a warehouse mm-hmm. and all the young people used to sit at like the far corner at the back. Mm-hmm. So literally at the corner. And because of because we used to do TV, one side was just like nice velvet curtain. Mm-hmm. And also you could like move the curtain. You could Some people used to put like their bags there. One service, me and Joe were just chilling. We are literally right at the wall. Mm-hmm. Open the curtain, there's a carrier bag. We open the carrier bag. It's a bag of cash. Cash. How much cash do you like to get cash? I, I think it had a note of how much it was. I'm pretty sure it was, low, surprisingly, 10K. Wow. It was, it, no, it was 10K. It, it was, was 10K. actually 10K. It was 10K. Mm-hmm. Me and Joe, we started panicking. Our hands were shaking. <laughs> we were like, what should we do? What should we do? What should we do? 
Girl, we took our part. <laughs> I'm gonna just start there. How much are we talking? Impact. And we we were young, so it was like I think we only took like a hundred pounds because we thought like a hundred pounds. <gasps> but now a hundred pounds is ten pounds. Please, let's it's not. It's the even. same thing. It is the same thing. Yeah, so we took our money. I remember we sat on it and we didn't get up until the service finished because we were like, cool, if anyone sees us, da 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 So we texted someone and was like, oh, there's whatever there is here. Mm -hmm. Turns out it was one of the people that were trying to steal. They had been collecting a part of the offering. Wow. For almost almost a month. Collecting it, collecting it, collecting it. And hiding it. I, I don't even remember I what I spent that money do. on. <laughs> I know a lot of people. I had a lot of people doing that. I found ninety pound on the floor. I found ninety pound on the floor. I think it was um, whose wedding it was. It it was Will and Kate's wedding, and my mum was driving um, on the motorway. It was it was just you know when you get to roundabout before you get to the motorway, mm. and I remember seeing notes just flying in the air maybe someone you see rich people maybe he was so he was so excited that he would just throw was money. this the day of their the wedding day of the jubilee somebody had thrown money somebody had thrown money so i remember just driving i'm saying mom i'm seeing money flying in the air and my mom parked up she Oh yeah, it broke, broke. It broke, broke. It broke, broke. I mean, the stem. It broke, broke. The stem broke. Oh, that's you. You know the top part. Give me the top part. I was holding. Girl, that. guys, if you're not, if you're listening to what happened, I just broke one of the glasses. It dropped on the floor because I was, I was tight to my hands. Okay, you can have that. This is a cute glass, you know. That's your souvenir for um, coming to the show. But yeah, so the, my, I pulled up. I was like, Mom, Mom, there's money flying on the floor. So my mom pulled up in the zip. My mom pulled up. Bye. My mom pulled, pulled, pulled up. So I'm now running, running. I'm collecting the money, collecting the money. And you know what? Yeah, I, when I'm younger, I didn't realize how dumb I was because honestly, another guy was helping me collect the money. But I should have pretended that it was my money. When I, I was walking, I just high five him and just went into my mom's car and all together was 90 pound. And my mom gave me 20 out of the money. <laughs> Nowadays, huh? We best be splitting that 65. So that's me. 30. Me, I, yeah. Yes, mama. That's right. 25. That's right. But yeah, that's the first time I've... That's, that's the only time and the most money I've ever found on the... I've never actually told that um, church story Sorry, before, you know? now you Because I kept it to myself because I said, if someone finds me and arrests me, but... This is a... How about they arrest the person that was saying it about it? How about that? You was only a child. You was underage. They left the church anyway, so... De- foul devils. I remember just spending that money like an idiot. Probably on sweets and stuff. Sweets and clothes. At least you spent it on clothes. I probably would have spent that it on food. That don't fit me anymore. <laughs> At the time, you swagged. I swagged out. Yeah, you did. Per. You did. And with that being said, we are going to close the show. <gasps> Victor, can I just... Guys, can I just say thank you so much for coming? No, thank you for having me. Like, Honestly, how I long have we been it. talking about this? We've been talking since about down me. in the DMs. We were like, since okay, down in the DMs, yeah. let's do the month after next. April, you here? And that's all that matters. We did say April though. You were like, March is not happening. In April, let's yeah. do it. But you're here. You 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 were here at the time you said you'll be here. Period. So guys, I want to say a huge huge thank you to Mr. Victor Konza. Oh. I appreciate you. How do people find you on the social media? At on Instagram at Victor Kunda on TikTok at Victor dot Kunda. It's like the same thing. Yeah. Are you not on and Twitter? my OnlyFans is I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> Are you not on Twitter? Oh my Twitter mm, my Twitter I like to I like to say if you find it, you find, find it. it. Okay. Because my Twitter has my old at which Okay. Anyways, you don't follow him on Twitter. He doesn't want to, basically. But with that being said, we are closing. And thank you so much, guys, for listening in. It has been another fantastic episode with an incredible bad boy. And we will see you next week with another bad boy or bad girl. I think next week might be one of my favorite episodes. But I will leave you, I will leave you to decide for that yourself. I love that, you. Do you know what? That was so rude. Imagine you're here. I'm saying next week is my, it's not going to be my favorite episode. No, this week is my favorite episode. <laughs> You know, in my head, I was slightly like, no, 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 but maybe this, this comes out next week. Okay. 
<laughs> this week I one of my I mean, this week is gonna be one of my is my favorite episode. Please, the drink is killing me. Please, it's beating my ass. Anyways, guys, fuck off. I'm going. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Anyway, fuck y'all. Love y'all. Ow. Ow. <laughs>